I always hate it when it's black text on a white screen. Oh, well, this one's gray, so it scares me a little bit less. Anyway, hello everyone. My name is Dario, and I'm going to be starting a quick little playthrough of... I mean, I could wait for the title to show up. Never soft. This game is never soft now. Um, yeah, that's probably one of the weird things about this version of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater is that uh, loads up very, very slow. I mean, you could even hear the crowd in the background. Like, the demo's already going on. So it's it's so weird. But anyways, there's the man right there. Who actually, let's see, this game was made in 98? It's, it's like 22 years old now? Um, I'm gonna let the intro play out a little bit because you get to get a preview of all the levels we'll be going to later on. This is how I would... I mean, I wasn't good enough to ever get to these levels back then, so this is the only way I could see it. And... So anyways, as I was saying also, this is on the N64. It was also released on the Dreamcast, PlayStation 1. And I think that's it. I don't think it ever got a PC release. Um, also... There was sort of a version on Game Boy, but we'll take a look at that later in the series. Um, but, as I said, this is the first Tony Hawk game, Tony Hawk Pro Skater. And we'll go ahead and... Is it, uh, oh yeah, I could skip it with A. Well, that's kind of the cool thing about this, actually. Back then, they didn't have, like, FMVs, you know, full motion video, especially on NCC4, usually. Um... Like, basically, all the inputs are recorded, and they just kind of play them out in real time. So I believe that's the same case with this. It's not a video. It's it's just the inputs that are being played out. So, you know, I think theoretically it could be paused or, you know, like an emulator or something like that. Anyways, I'm, I'm really just trying to fill the air, waiting for the title to come up, which should be any second now. And also, you might as well actually be enjoying the skating, you'll see, because I'm not going to be able to do any of this. Been playing this game for how long did I say? Like 22 years. Still can't do it. <laughs> how many more skaters are? <laughs> like, are we just gonna start seeing like the employees start popping up? It's just gonna be a giant credits roll of everyone. They just put themselves in the game. But I have a lot of memories with the Tony Hawk series, and especially this first entry that I'll be getting into in a bit. Uh, whenever it decides to start. Okay, I think. Okay, okay, Jeff. Like you have, you have like the longest demo right here. Oh, oh my God, Chad Muskie. All right, well, <clears throat> I'm just gonna give up one more person. If one more person shows up, I'm sorry, I'm I'm cutting you off. No more skating. Okay, there we go. Finally, that was it. So as I was saying, it's called Tony Hawk Skateboarding. I think that was the original title until later it became Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Unless for some reason I'm playing like a European cartridge, because I think this was the title over in Europe. I don't know. Anyways, let's just hit start for the demo. It goes again. So, very basic game. Let's go over to extras real quick before you get into it. Um, very cool thing about this game that you can load replays, but I think it uses the same concept as the intro, where it kind of records your inputs and then just replays it. Credits. The credits of this game are actually incredibly long. Like, it, I don't know what it is about this game, but they all just go slow. Um, so this is the model viewer where you can look at how to do certain tricks and then kind of do it, I think. Yeah, it demonstrates it, but if you hit start, you can... You're supposed to be able to, like, do it yourself, but maybe he's already in the pose. I don't know. Anyways, um, what else do I want to show off? Shows you the controls. Um, you know what? Maybe I should get into the game so I can actually <laughs> show off some of this stuff. Um, the reason I don't mind kind of wasting time here is because this playthrough, I think, is going to be actually kind of short. I think the game's only 10 levels long, maybe. Might be even 8. Um, 9. You know, whatever. We'll find out. No, I think it's 10. Anyway. <laughs> but this first part is going to be actually really short because um, the first level... I've played this game, like I said, pretty much my whole life at this point, so I'd like to think I can knock it out very quickly, at least the first level. So, you know, as you, per usual, you can control the sound with a little boombox that says Big Brother on it. Get some Orwellian references in here. Um, just basic stuff. Let's take a look at the controls. This, 
this game kind of controls weirdly. I mean, you could can. Wait, can you just configure everything to be? Oh my god, you could. I oh, I gotta try this sometime. Just playing the game only with grinding. Um, auto kick. I wonder how that works. Yeah, I've never, I've never interacted with any of this stuff really. Um, I've I've gotten used to playing a game a very certain way, and that's where we're gonna stick to it. Um, but maybe we'll look into that later and have some fun. So, this game is broken up into four modes, I guess, technically. You got career mode, which is the the main progression mode of the game. You score enough points, you complete enough objectives, you move on to the next level. Two players, um, I'll have to get into that later in the series, but you can have two people simultaneously play at the same time on a level. Or, I don't remember if it's in this game or not, but you can... You know, probably play like, uh, you could probably just, uh, oh, oh, God, uh, uh, did I get the answer wrong? Oh, I forgot it does that. Anyways, uh, single session, um, you basically, like, you know, score attack, you try to get the highest score you can in a two minute run and free skate, you can just skate the level to your heart's content. So let's finally get into it. We're going to start a new game. And as usual, the message always shows if you want to enter your rumble pack, I never do it because... I feel like it damages it. And you have a list of how many skaters here? Like, what was there? Like 10, 12 or something? Um, you know, it gives you the stats and of the current skater you have. I always go with Tony Hawk. I mean, it's his game. You know, when you play Mario Party, you play as Mario. You know, I, I, I kind of feel bad because I, I don't think I've ever beaten this game as anybody else but Tony. But, you know, maybe one of these days I'll, you know pop in another character but for now we're gonna go with the good old tone tone and the cool thing is you actually get different decks you can unlock uh, I always go with the birdhouse logo I don't know I just find it look cool um, we'll go with white wheels too those will stand out I, and I really like this thing how you can kind of customize your deck like um, I, yeah you can see the deck does change like your stats that you get later on but the beginning, um, for the most part, it's just very flavor. Um, the only thing you can really control right now is uh, how tight your trucks are. And I don't, I've tried playing with tight trucks. I don't know what the purpose is though. Um, it might honestly just be preference, but I, I don't honestly don't know how it benefits you. Who knows? Maybe I'll, once again, I'll, I'll mess with that a little bit. Let's play through. So, um, let's see. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my god, wow, I said eight, nine, and I was like, oh, it's probably in the middle somewhere. It actually was nine. That's crazy. Anyways, um, you can look ahead to see what all those levels are. Um, you know, unknown, unknown. Um, I think actually if you back out and then go back, there was like a way to do it. Hold on, wait, I think if you do... This bothers me because there is actually a way like you can hack it or you can back out of a menu and go back and you see what this this level is. But anyways, I've wasted almost 10 minutes just doing nothing. So we're going to get back to it. And let's see if I could actually beat this quick or if I'm just talking to my ass. Here are the five challenges you got to do. You got to get 5,000 points, smash boxes, collect skate, hit and tape, uh, and get 1,500 points. Um... Every level, uh, minus the competition levels, is always going to be um, collecting skate and getting a hidden tape. Um, and there's always another... Wh what? I've never done that before in my life. I mean, in real life, too, but... I've, I've never... I wasn't even trying to do a special move. That was so weird. I'm, I'm literally shitting you not. I wasn't trying to do that. Actually, you know what? I should have rolled with it. What the hell am I doing? I should have just been like totally light off my ass oh yeah look how good i am i'm just doing all this crazy shit but that was a good start that's cool um yeah slamming into a wall will make you bail uh better get these boxes though because i'm running out of time um but yeah you're always gonna collect the skate letters you're always gonna have to do a score um you know there's the low score and or the high score and then the pro score i think that's the way to distinguish it um Let's see, there we get. No, I haven't got this one. And then, actually, if I just do that, I should get the pro score. Yeah, there we go. And then, last pair of boxes. 
And then we'll get into them a bit later, but then as I mentioned, the competition levels. Uh, that one basically that one basically is just you get three runs to to do your best, you know, tricks and try to get the gold medal. So with that, I think we literally just completed the this level in its entirety. Oh my god, I didn't get the hidden tape. That's right. Crap. Crap, I got too cocky. I can get it. Watch this. Watch this. Yeah. See, I told you I played this game a bunch. Alright. So, I, I make this look easy, but honestly, um... Okay, I, I don't mean to sound like I'm bragging, but... Uh... It does take some practice to get used to, especially on the N64 controls. Uh, you can skate with the, the control stick, uh, the analog control stick, but I never bothered with it. Um, I just used the D-pad, one of the few games I used the D-pad with. So because we got all five tapes in the level, we unlocked the new level, uh, a new level, the school, got a new deck, and we unlocked them all. So we unlocked two levels right off the bat, and we got a new deck to boot. So we're going to save, and, oh man, I didn't think of a funny name for this. I mean, I could just be like, I could just say asshole or something, I guess, but let's do like... Oh, oh my, okay. Okay, you know what, I'm probably not going to ever have another chance to, to do this, so I'm just going to do this one. It's so dumb. We're playing it as Tony Hawk. So we'll name ourselves. <laughs> Mike Hawk. <laughs> oh my god. Perfect. Alright. I, I, uh, I. Oh wait, oh wait, I can d do this one too. Alright, well. Uh, how about. Okay, how about I do this one there? I won't do ass, I'll do. I was gonna say bud, but we'll just do butt. This is so dumb. Anyways, I think that'll about do for this part. Um, next, uh, next episode we'll be looking at uh, the school. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.